Welcome back. In the previous video, we went over how to name branched alkanes and gave some examples. Today, we'll solve one of those examples together. First, let's identify the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms in the molecule. This chain will give us the parent name. Remember, it doesn't matter if the chain is straight or has bends. It's the length that counts. Next, we need to number the longest carbon chain to determine the parent name. To do this, we start numbering from the end that gives the substituents the lowest possible numbers. In this molecule, the two substituents, both methyl groups, are located at positions 3 and 4 when numbered from this end, but at 4 and 5 when numbered from the other end. Following IUPAC rules, we choose the numbering that gives the lowest locants, so the methyl groups are at positions 3 and 4. The parent name is based on the number of carbons in the longest chain, combined with the suffix an. Since the chain has 7 carbons, the parent name is heptane. Now, let's put the name together in the correct order. Prefix, parent name, and suffix. In this molecule, we have two methyl groups, one attached to carbon-3 and the other to carbon-4. When identical substituents are present, we use prefixes like di to indicate the number of groups. That's why these are named dimethyl. Next, we combine all the parts. Start with the numbers showing the positions of the substituents, followed by the prefix, and finally, the parent name. The substituents are located at positions 3 and 4. The prefix for two methyl groups is dimethyl. The parent name, based on the seven carbon chain, is heptane. Put it all together into a single word, using commas to separate the numbers and hyphens to separate numbers from letters. The final name of the molecule is 3,4-dimethylheptane. And that's it. I hope this step-by-step -step explanation made the process clear and easy to follow. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to help. See you in the next video.